I lack word to describe what I see here. The creativity, originality, history. It's, it's indescribable. I can't explain it. You actually need to be here to understand what I'm talking about. This is my first time coming here, and I know that I'll be here many, many, many more times to come. Um, in fact, here is going to be a frequent visit for me because uh, it's not what that can be explored in one day, one month, one year, even 10 years is, is a short period of time for you to understand. I want to be able to understand every single piece of art here. It's so beautiful. This is a talking drum. Yes, this is a talking drum, sending the message to the drum. And it's also a seat. So you explore Nigeria, this is the mirror, this is the table, and this is the double seat for the talking drop. Wow, this is really beautiful. Everything here is, you know, art. You're a doctor? Yes. Okay, you know what? Because yes. I cannot really properly introduce you, so you know you introduce yourself, All right. please. Our daughter, I want to thank you. My name is Dr. Chief Nike Davis Okundaye. I was honored with Rhodes University, a doctorate degree in April this year. And I was also honored at the Oshun State University in August this year. So this is the first time a woman will be honored in between six months to get two doctorate degrees. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. It's in your welfare, every bit of the honor that has been given you. I know a lot of people must have asked you this question. How you started, what made you get into art and then decide to, you know, explore it, make it, you know, big like this. Yes, what really made me get into art is the way they pass education to kids in those days. You teach your child what you do. So my father is a leather worker, and also he worked with crown. He do beads and make crown for the king, and he also do embroidery or nagbada. And my mother is a weaver, but my mother is a fourth generation weaver. My great grandmother is a dyer and a dilemmaker, and that is how they were passing the knowledge to me at the younger age. So when I finished primary six, and I don't have money to go to school, I said, this thing I know, let me package it in a nice way and do it well. So I was now working as a babysitter to pay for my school fees, the one they loaned me, so I can, I can know how to read and write. That is the Catholic. They allow you to go to school, and they will say, when you finish, you can pay us. And wow. the school fees is only 15 shillings which is one naira fifty. That is how I now have to go and do a babysitter for the teachers. They are in there teaching in St. Augustine College in okay. Kaba. So in where? In Kaba. Kaba, that's in, Kogi, in Kogi State. State. So you're from Kogi State? Yes, I'm oh, from wow. Ogidi, Ijumu. Ogidi? Ijumu. Ijumu. Near Kaba. Okay. Yeah. So I was now working for them as a babysitter. So my spare time I will be doing embroidery. So the Reverend sister, we come and visit my yoga. Then they said, what are you doing? Then I said, uh, signature my try. I can't speak English. Signature? My try. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just telling them this is my work. And the signature means my, the work I'm doing is my signature. OK, so, so signature my try. My try. <laughs> so they will, say, they will laugh and laugh. What does this mean? Then I will say, do you have an interpreter? They will say, yes. I will say, he said me no, Allah will run. Allah will run, no. They will say, what is Allah will run? That this one has figure. I will do the angel is my shepherd. Then I will do it on embroidery. They can put it in the altar. And that is how the reverend sisters were buying my work. Then I said, oh. I'm getting only 15 shillings, one naira 50 a month. So when the, my father now want to marry me out to, because my father have no money. So at the age of 14, 13, he said, come, let me marry you off. You don't go to school. You are working as a babysitter. How much are you going to make? Let me just marry you off. Then I said, okay, I run away. Uh, it, must, it must have been a rebel when you were growing up. 
to know that you have to run away, that you don't want to get married, and then age 14, at that time, you know, you dare not uh, rebel against your parents yes. or try not to listen to them, and you know that, oh, I do not want to get married. I want to do business, and then I want to better my life. I, I am not of age yet. I am not prepared, and they decided to run away. That means you must have been a rebel when you were growing up. It's true. I always call <laughs> myself a rebel because, because that is a rebel <laughs> for you to get into this. <laughs> I always call myself a rebel because when I look at life through art, I just take the biggest risk in my life. If I make it, yes. If I don't make it, I have. No, I'm not going to go back, I'm going to go forward. And I always pray that I always know what I want, and I focus at it, and I always achieve it. So when I run away, I come to my mother's sister in Oshogo, that is married to somebody in Oshogo, and is doing the uh, Adire. That is how I continue with the Adire. And I went to meet the Sotanwenja, who is a white woman who come to learn Adire in Nigeria. And what we call Adire is what I'm wearing, Adi, Are, Adire. What does it Adi, Are? Are, Adire, so and Adi. that is what you are wearing. Okay. And we do it beautiful. and so we dye can, it. You can dye it on any clothes? Yes. What does that we mean? We do it, we can tie it. Red means dye. Dye. Yeah, that is the name of our textile. Okay. You know, in the Igbo land, dye. yes, in the Igbo land, they do aquatic. They also do stitch at the red in Cross River. Yeah. So in Benue, they do the tie and dye. In Kanu, they do the tie and dye. So the whole Nigeria, this cloth actually unites us. So today, before I finish, I want to tell Nigeria that this cloth should be made like dress down on Friday. Every Nigeria should be wearing Adire. So the name of Adire will not die off. And the name of our textile in Nigeria will not die off. And in Osho State now, they have made all the children to be wearing the tie and dye to school. In Osho? In Osho State. So Lagos dress down. And this is Ijoba Alabada. During the time of Obasanjo, everybody wear Adire. Because he wore Adire, Adire is made in Abel Kuta, is made in Cross River, is made in Kano, is made in Benue, is made in Ibadan, is made all over Nigeria make Adire. And the indigo pit is in Kano, 400 years ago, is still there. So the name of this textile is the name of our textile in Nigeria, Asofi, handwoven. Then you now tie a dire on it. Yes. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, I married myself. Oh. It's so beautiful. And those are recycled from Pida. This one? Yes, they are from the plastic they throw inside the water. The plastic they throw inside the water is what they recycle and we turn it to necklace. Who are your biggest customers? Now, I will say Nigeria are the biggest customer now. Before, it's only expatriates. Expatriates still come, but I will say more African country. countries. Uh, Ghana, Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria have the biggest collector in Africa now. Wow. Yes. And do you have relationship with embassies? Yeah, we do have a great relationship with them because sometimes those embassies, they come and we run workshop. They want to take something back. Okay, you do that, a workshop for them? Yes, we train them. We say, come and see how we paint. Come and see how, try our finger food. Food is art. So yes. we teach them how to paint. We give them a little uh, canvas and they paint. And they take it home. Whatever they paint belongs the to them. Belong so to them. then when they want to explore a finger food, we say this is food tasting. So they taste this food. Don't give them American wine. Give them sobo and give them palm wine. They will say, oh, you know what? I went to so, so, so. I taste the warm wine. They call it palm wine. It tastes funny, but it's lovely. It's, I never tasted it before. Our palm wine doesn't taste funny. It's the best wine. <laughs> the tastes champagne. Yes, African of champagne. Of course. <laughs> How could they say that our wine tastes funny? Are they kidding me? Uh, no. What? You no, know, because they never tasted it before. No, it doesn't taste funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking? African champagne. Of course. So I told African them champagne. African champagne. You know, there is one 
the slippery one, the one on the ground, yes. have no alcohol. The juice from the palm, yeah. that is the one that ferment and have alcohol. Yes. So we let them try the two. Try them both. So do you have the palm wine here? We used to have every Sunday, but the lady doing it is just on holiday now. Oh, so she used to do it. Miss. It's a Bini girl, and she have her palm wine farm. Really? In a pair. So Saturday and Sunday, she come with the palm wine and she, she will take it to a different level. Then you, you taste palm wine, you feel joy. Wow. Yes. This is really amazing. Your work is beautiful. And nice. you welcomed me and gave me this beautiful dress to change. And this yes. is, you know, it's, it's not free. Uh, and you did it on paper so that people can easily wear yes. it and try it out. Yes, you know, and, it's called Agbada. Okay. So in those days, it's only men who wear a bada. But now a woman can wear a bada. We are a queen in your own house. So we women, we are queen. And sometimes we, we, we wear something too tight. We're supposed to wear a bada and give ourselves room and feel queen. So you know our hair tie is our crown. And that is why I'm always happy when I see a woman with the gilly. Wow. So they are wearing crown. The queen wear crown, you wear crown. So you are a queen. <laughs> <laughs> the queen of the media. Wow. Uh, that's uh, a beautiful uh, name. Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. This is, uh, this is really amazing. So what we're going to do, even while we explore, I'll make you feel as if you've stepped inside this gallery. All Maybe. of them have a story. Story. There's a, and there's there's a, a beautiful story behind all this piece yes. of art. And that is what makes it very interesting. Yes, and like you know already from here, this is a talking drum yes. turned into a Send, chair. Sending the message through the drum. Sending the message to the, what kind of message? Oh, when you get to the king palace. So the king, they are telling the king that the queen of the media is here. Then he will say, oh, she will send somebody, go and tell the drum and let her come in. So they will ask you to come in. But the message has gone through the drum. That is why they say talking drum, the drum that talk to the king. So the king will now send message back. So he has already told the king, so, so, so is here. How are you, the <laughs> queen of media? <laughs> Welcome to the palace of Alafi. Yes. Welcome to the Ataoja palace. So then the king is hearing that. You know, in those days, they communicate. No telephone. If the drummer is beating drum in Chevron, you will be hearing what he's saying, that there is something coming. Please, get ready, get ready. So now they use textile after the drummer. They use the textile to communicate. How? Huh. OK, when you, with the color you are wearing now, you are wearing Nigeria, you are green and white, and you are saying Where the presence of white? God. I don't you see, to... there is green there. That's the, a green, the, yeah? That is green, and yeah. the yellow represents the bright color. So you are telling the person that you are wearing this dress too, that I have a bright light and our environment is green all year round. So I'm a green person. I'm like vegetable. I love you. I don't. So just the message alone by wearing the green. So it water everything down. And then he know what you mean. Find me a room in your life. Find me a room in your heart. Find me a room in your heart. A house. Wow. Uh, and you want on your own. What does it represent? The indigo. indigo. The indigo. I'm telling you, I'm in love with you. So that is why I'm wearing this blue. The blue color is the color of love. And I'm telling you that I'm in love with you. It's the first day I see you. That is why I wear my indigo. When a man marry in the northern Nigeria, they wear the blue turban to show love to the new wife. I thought the red is the ah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, they wear indigo. They don't wear dark cloth for funeral in Nigeria. They wear white for purity, celebration. Yes. Why the indigo is the color of love. Okay. That is why that color is very powerful in mm. Nigeria. Wow. That is why both north, east, before you become Igwe, you need that blue dress. Before you become Emia, you need that blue dress. Before you become Emia, so you need that blue indigo. Then the other one is the silk worm from the cocoon. The Sonia, what? Sonia. There is a cloth handwoven called Sonia. Okay. So the whole thread is from silk worm. Okay. We grow a lot of silk on our tree in Nigeria. Wow. So all this cloth communicate and we bring people together. So when they wear the agbada, 
It's taking three years to finish the giving. It's taking three years to finish the embroidery. So the king is telling you that I prepare for long before I can carry all of you on myself. When the king wears the crown, he's carrying a heavy load. People cannot understand that that load of carrying many people is a very, to work with so many people and carry them along. Wow. It's a lot of duty for the king. This is really amazing.